On today's episode of Amanda and Felix Eats, we're featuring cheap, affordable eats, won't break the bank, but will fill your tummy. When I'm thinking cheap eats, I'm thinking a lot of volume, satisfying, delicious, affordable. What more could you ask for? What's going on Foodie Ohana and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're taking you guys on a cheap eats adventure in none other than Waipahu. And guys, we are hungry. So we're gonna be showing you a bunch of affordable spots. So the very first stop on today's Cheap Eats episode is here at Garden Island Cafe here in Waipahu. And a lot of you guys have recommended this spot, so we're here to check him out. Should this be a late night and Cheap Eats episode? They do close kind of early. I think they close at like 8 or something. Well, we, got, we better hurry then. Mm. Oh, these are the hours. This spot is called Garden Island Cafe in Waipahu. And they are mostly known for their very affordable lunch special, $9.25. And then the all-day specials is $10.25. And the type of plates that they have, it's more local Chinese style plate lunches. Mini plates start from around $9 and the regular size plates start from around $11. Pretty good deal. First sign of a good GP's place, when the plates don't close. Come on guys, we haven't had a place that the plates don't close in a while, so I'm super excited. I got their beloved must order here, the mochiko chicken. It is filled with fried chicken goodness. Regular plate comes with two scoop rice and a mac salad. What more could you ask for? All right, I'm going in guys. I'm so excited, so hungry. Ooh, nice and crispy, tender. Look how generous these pieces are. These are massive, guys. Ooh, that crunch. Mmm, very tender chicken pieces. Nicely brined. Hint of sweetness. I taste, I think, some ginger in here as well, in the marinade. Mm. Give me a piece real quick. This is so satiating and satisfying. Mmm. Very juicy. Just try some of the mac salad. Nice and mayo-y, but not overly mayo-y, where it's like dripping down the fork, which is what I like. Mm. Wow, this mac salad is good. It tastes almost like Zippy's mac salad. Oh, wow. The mac salad has an oniony flavor. The mochiko chicken, the batter on the outside, is like very light and crispy. And I feel like it's super flavorful. I will say the rice isn't as great though. The rice is very hard. This plate definitely makes up for it. Probably one of the best mochiko chickens I've had. When I'm thinking cheap eats, I'm thinking a lot of volume, satisfying, delicious, affordable. It's all you need right here. That's gonna do it for today's video, I think. And I got the special of the day, which is garlic fish, and it's covered with garlic and green onion. There is how many pieces of fish? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five pieces of huge fish, I believe. I want to go in for my first bite. Ooh, it's full of garlic. Full of garlic, full of flaky fish. It's so fragrant. Mmm. Mmm, wow. The outside kind of has like a slight batter. It's not super strong, but it's perfect because the garlic flavor sticks to that batter. Mmm, it goes perfect. Just covered the rice. Oh, man. Mm. It tastes like that garlic, the same fried garlic. When you order Chinese food, you get salt and pepper style, like mm. pork chops and stuff. It's like fried garlic goodness. And I like too that it's not like overly oily or overly saturated. Even the mochiko chicken is not super oily. For 10 bucks, dang, that's freaking deals, you guys. Two of these massive plates combined was $21. That's dinner for both of us and guaranteed leftovers. There's no mm -hmm. way we can finish all this. Felix had rave reviews of the mac salad, so I'll Guaranteed, you're gonna love it. Mm. It's a pretty bomb mac salad. Mm -hmm. This is the OG mac salad. You can tell they use a lot of mayo in that one. It goes perfectly with the fish. But guys, we uh, <laughs> saw something on the menu, so we ordered something else. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> this is gross. Like, I really appreciate the batter here. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at this, babe. This piece looks like a mini chicken tender. And this restaurant is a bit small, but for takeout on the go, this is perfect. 
I noticed they do catering here too. We might have to make the drive out here to do catering, yeah, yeah, just for this. Can you believe the Mochiko chicken is actually a lunch special as well? So if you come during lunch, this is cheaper. 9.25, that's crazy. crazy. Whenever we see this on the menu, we just have to order it. They have crab rangoon here. You guys don't know what crab rangoon is. Where have you been? These are six massive pieces, it's 10.50. Look at the bombucho that you're getting. It is stuffed. They do not skip out here. And I'm gonna dip it in this sweet and sour sauce that they have. It looks hot. Man, crispy, hot, creamy, delicious, crabby. Guys, it's not gonna be fresh crab. Come on now. You don't expect cra fresh crab in this. It's imitation crab, but it's delicious. I don't care what people say. And it just works perfectly with the sweet and sour sauce. Sweet, creamy, tangy, crispy. Ooh, it's like spilling out. Well, the mix is not a typical mix. I taste some onion in here. They literally fill it from like tip to tip. Filled from seam to seam. And pro tip, if you find the flavor of the mochiko chicken a little tiring, they sell the sauces on the side. So now it's not soggy, it's still crispy, but you get the sauce. Do we have to feature anything else? <laughs> this is it. And for our next location, Foodie Ohana, we are back here at The Shops. Is it called The Shops? The Shops at Westlock Station. We did feature, I believe, CM Chicken. Shout outs to them. Pupukea Grinds. We featured Pupukea Grinds, one of the best ahi katsus we've ever had over there. But today we're going for the affordability and we are here at Hawaiian Barbecue House. It's very L&L esque vibes. It's giving me. It's also a Chinese barbecue. It's also a Chinese, Chinese plate lunch plate joint. Plate. Yeah. I think one of the determining factors, if it's a Chinese plate lunch place, is if they have pictures of the food items on the outside. I feel like every Chinese place does that. I started to notice. Anyway, we got some specials, and already right off the bat, it is a little more pricey than Garden Island Cafe. But we'll see how everything tastes. Ooh, this thing is heavy, man. Talk about massive volume. It's a nice cold night here in the Waipahu area. So I wanted to go for something very heartwarming. And this is one of my favorites, chicken cutlet. Pretty much it is panko fried chicken katsu, slathered with gravy all over. One thing I forgot, I should have said gravy on the rice, you guys, but this is very reminiscent of like school kind gravy. It kind of smells like that kind of brown gravy. They give actually a lot. This is a mini plate. It was $10.25, comes with heaping amount of katsu which by the way this plate is the same size as their regular plate one scoop of rice and one scoop mac salad they're not skipping on the katsu here cheers a oh, hot a oh, hot <gasps> they load it up this katsu is a thick gravy a chicken katsu nicely fried because it is covered with gravy it's not going to be crispy as like a normal chicken katsu but i personally don't mind that yeah the gravy does kind of taste like the school kind gravy mm. i would say like a chicken broth gravy it's not super strong rich dark brown gravy it goes perfect with the katsu it doesn't overpower it too much i got their dinner special which is a little pricier this is 15.95 but guys already right off the bat can tell as opposed to garden island they use fresh minced garlic you can tell by the irregular pieces of garlic, not from the can or from the jar. Nice breaded and fried pork chops. Very thinly cut, so I can probably just take a bite out of this. No knife necessary. I see some green onions, garlic, chilies. This is, I correct myself, the spicy garlic pork chop. I'm going in on this bite full of garlic right here. Wow. Mm. That is garlic and goodness. Holy cow. Garlic breath all day, bro. I love that the batter isn't too thick. Pork chop is very tender. It's not chewy at all. Garlic is very fresh, minced garlic. So if you like strong garlic flavor, this is for you. I see some chopped up chilies sauteed in there. Adds a nice little heat, but it's not so spicy where it's gonna like burn the hairs off your tongue. I can see myself craving this. The rice quality right off the bat, I notice is a lot better than the other place. Time for the mac salad test. Okay, going for mac salad. Ooh, and I love when the gravy gets a little bit on the mac salad. Mm, more mayo-y. The macaroni's like disintegrating almost. Let's get in on this mac salad. Mm, 
It tastes kind of like a, almost like a tartar mac salad, kind of sourness to it, a tang. One of my good friends that used to work at a plain lunch takeout spot, they said they used egg yolks in the mac salad. I'm guessing that's what they did with this one. I feel like Garden Island had more of that yolky taste. Mm. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ooh, this bad boy. Bro, why do I always get attracted to the big pieces? Hmm. Why do I taste Chinese cooking wine in this? I think I'm imagining it, but I had a mouthful of that gravy, so maybe that's what they use. Very interesting flavor. What do you think for dessert? Yeah, I guess we can check them out. They're in the same lot as uh, Hawaiian barbecue. Thank you. Oh, I'm so excited! So for dessert tonight, we went to the shop right across the way from the Hawaiian barbecue house and it's called Rajadat Snack Shop and we met Raja <laughs> in there. Super cool dude. I think his name is Roger, right? Like, yeah, but he just... said his name is Raja. <laughs> <laughs> Very local style. Yeah. So this is their Hawaiian Frost Soft Serve. They were out of my favorite flavor, which is actually the original strawberry and blue vanilla but this is probably the second best. It is halpia and pineapple. Ooh, it looks icy on one side and more creamy on the other. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. It's kind of like a Dole Whip kind of action over here. The pineapple side is nice and tart, very fragrant. And then the halpia side is more milky, more of a base flavor, coconutty. So it together, it tastes like pina colada. You don't need to get the swirl if you don't want to. If you wanted just halpia or just pineapple, you could have got that, but I wanted a mix. Hmm. This is uh, really refreshing. Mm -hmm. My hand's kind of freezing right now, but so worth it. Not as nostalgic as the blue and pink swirl. Mm -hmm. That one's my ultimate favorite flavor. So here's the spot though. Mm -hmm. I love the concept of his spot. He said he has three locations. He said that about 40% of his shop is other small local businesses. So the fact that this snack shop also supplies local businesses who probably don't have a storefront is really cool. I love that. Yeah, we saw um, some pastries in the fridge from our local company, some snacks, popcorn, chips, and jellies, and spices. And sauces. And again, you guys, we leave all the links down in the description below if you want to check it out. Right, foodie ohana that's gonna wrap it up for tonight's cheap eats foodie adventure we hope you guys had an awesome time we sure did those plates were massive you guys we hope you guys like this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up it really helps us out and if you have not already please come and join our foodie ohana click the subscribe button down below to come and join us and we will see you guys on the next video right until next foodie adventure Explore your inner foodie. Peace out. Good night. Bye, guys. What's going on, foodie Wait, Ohana? Why are, why are we? We look dark. Try to go there. Do I have to stop filming or can I just keep eating? Cause this is really good. All right, you guys. So we. Are, I need help. Oh, we're right by the trash can. And also, and and they, okay guys, so we stopped into Rajadat, what? Rajadat. Hold on, hold on. Bro. So we stopped, so I'll let you open that first. It's distracting you. Yeah. Bro, it's still, like after I, after eating all that, it still doesn't close. Oh, I don't fall, you know. I know, I, I'm, I have it. They should have a sign outside that says bring your own rubber bands because you're going to need it to close the plates. So this is their Hawaiian Frost... Cup. Soft? Soft serve. Hawaiian Frost Hawaiian soft Frost serve. soft serve. Ooh, it's, it's really get, dark. It's getting late, but guys, we got more places to show you guys and we got a lot of leftovers to take home as well. We're going to have lunch for the rest of the next week. It's so dark, you can't even see our faces. Yeah, foodie adventure, late night style.
Oh, it's freaking, why is it colder on this? He said that about 40% of his shop is other local, is other small, is other small. So the recipe is actually samurai soft serve. You, 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 so for, yeah, tongue twister, man, it must be all that garlic. And again, you guys, we leave all the links down in the description below. Why can't I stop eating this? You keep moving the camera, I'm like, and again, it's not you, good. 